Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsik and this video is going to be a little bit different and today we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency and what I personally see as the major pros and cons of cryptocurrency um, entering our society, what I think of the recent, you know, surges over the past year. Um, and many currencies have you know risen drastically and i'm gonna be discussing my personal crypto holdings if i do own any and what i think of the future in general of cryptocurrencies as a whole so first of all i think one of the reasons crypto is uh maybe more attractive than current fias currencies like the US dollar is basically because of the limited supply um, so not all coins are like this um, for example ethereum is not but some coins do have a cap on the max amount that will ever be in existence um, so for Bitcoin um, I think it's 21 million um, total coins that will ever be in existence um, and a lot of coins have some sort of caps in place like that but a lot of coins do not like ethereum i think for ethereum there's like a cap on you know the max amount that can um, be created per year but there's no like all-time cap on the max amount possible so um, in contrast the us dollar isn't tied to anything physical anymore so um, you know there could be an infinite amount of money which just um, allows for an infinite amount of inflation which is really not good um, in a short period of time so it's definitely possible as well for a central entity um, because the US dollar and fiat currency system is centralized so it's possible for an entity such as the government uh, you know to directly or maybe just indirectly accidentally manipulate the currency and um, you know the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies is kind of one of the big draws to people and just uh they want maybe the government to not uh have as much influence in how the currency works um and they want it to be a little bit more stable maybe so that is one of the big um you know attractions for a lot of people and another uh, big positive i see is that it just allows people you know to transfer money much more easily obviously there's a lot of things these days like venmo and paypal and all of those things but those are you know tied to your name um, so sometimes it's a little bit better for it to be more anonymous um, but still uh, you know perfectly secure and safe uh, so there's not going to be any you know like hacks or stuff like that and there's been uh, you know fraudulent activity um, on many of these cryptocurrencies in the past and you know the algorithms and blockchain has sort of uh, figured that out and um, found those um, you know things that were not consistent and basically figured out that there was a problem there so uh, that's kind of uh, one of the good things I see um, but as well the major downside um, of cryptocurrency I would say is sort of the same thing as a major upside which is the decentralization and anonymity um, because this often leads itself um, to criminals and um, nefarious actors basically you know using it for their criminal behavior which is obviously not good you know if they're can't use uh, some other currency and but they're allowed to, or they're able to use crypto um, undetected basically because it is sort of anonymous um, that could be a problem and I think that's one of the main problems um, that you know somehow crypto needs to you know one of these coins needs to figure out how to address that problem and sort of figure it out because you know some people will say well there's plenty of crime um, done with US dollars but I think that's just sort of a logical fallacy to say well criminals are going to use the US dollar for crimes so it doesn't matter if they use uh, you know Bitcoin for crimes as an example or Ethereum but I think that's just not a good way of thinking because that's just saying you're just accepting the crimes you know so uh, I think something needs to be figured out there and I think that's probably the biggest problem uh, that most people who are hesitant have. Um, I was talking to my parents and that's one of the biggest things they said, I think, um, of why you know they were just unsure of it. I mean, obviously, uh, they were honest and said they were not super educated on it, but um, that was one of the things they did mention was the uh, you know criminal behavior, and that's just something that we need to figure out and kind of put an end to that in order, I think, for crypto uh, to be to really go to the next level there. And in regards, you know, to the recent price uh, surges we've been seeing, you know, over the past six months, probably, uh, I think that it's probably a bit unprecedented for the prices to be rising, you know, this quickly. But um, 
that's just sort of how crypto seems to work it's at least recently or um, you know in the history that we've had it's only 10 or 15 years old but um, in the history we've seen kind of cycles uh, where it has these big bull runs and then kind of stagnates for a few years and um, I think you know as it becomes more and more mainstream uh, the cryptos will you know have less and less of a swing uh, we're already sort of seeing that happen um, they're sort of deviating less and less from their trend line i guess um, so it's good to see because obviously if it's going to be some sort of currency you don't want it you know fluctuating a lot but i think in the future you know right now there's a ton of different cryptocurrencies i think in the future um, at some point uh, if there really becomes uh, you know a currency or uh, some sort of currency that is used heavily. I think there's probably going to be maybe a few five or ten Maybe even 15 different coins that are used up, uh, you know very prevalently and then the others will kind of you know die off so I think that's also one of the risks is just investing obviously just like you're investing in businesses investing in something that's not as well established and has uh, you know more of a risk of failing you know so um, but that's not to say that the ones that aren't well established don't have any good ideas or good platforms that could work so uh, that's just something to think about I really have no data to back that claim up about the 5 to 15 but I would say that just makes sense to me that um, you know there can't be all of these different currencies uh, and coins, you know, competing and really work very well. Uh, I think there's probably just going to be a few that turn out to work the best, and so those are the ones that are people going to use, and um, that's what's going to happen. I would say I don't really think we're in a bubble with the crypto yet. I think it's just a little bit um, probably surprising to me that we're moving up this quickly. I would say, you know, probably Dogecoin is in a bubble because it should be worth nothing, but. Um, I didn't even want to bring that up so I'm definitely not you know some hyper bull on crypto but I do think that some sort of cryptocurrencies will probably have a place in our future which is why I do own some so I started buying some probably back in June of 2020 I believe uh, so in the grand scheme of things I really haven't been in it too long but um, you know for what has happened this past six months you know I really got in at a fairly good time and uh, Compared to a lot of people that I've gotten in in the past few months, I think uh, I'm pretty fortunate that I started, uh, you know, that early, if you can call it early. But um, one of the things I will say I'm upset about is that I didn't keep super great records of all the money I put in. So I, I would say I have invested around $350 to $400 um, in total into cryptocurrency. And I'll show you guys um, in a second what my portfolio is worth. So. I didn't really invest it all at once either. I kind of spread it out. I think I put initially $200 in um, at that initial time last year in June, and then I kind of added some money here and there uh, a few times and um, have been adding slowly, um, but just not trying to uh, miss out on something either. All right, so you can see here my portfolio right now is around $1,530. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm around 4x where I started from which is pretty awesome you know um, I definitely know for sure that I'm you know above 2 or 3x my initial investment um, but uh, I'm not exactly sure the exact amount I put in so that's why I'm not positive what my return is um, but uh, this is just in the ledger software I have a ledger wallet that um, is like a hard wallet that I have my crypto on so it's pretty useful I think it kind of aggregates your crypto into one place um, and so basically the three currencies I have are Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. So uh, actually I didn't realize this but it looks like Bitcoin Cash is the biggest portion of my portfolio now uh, because it's really been doing very well recently. Um, it's at around $1,400 per coin now um, and then Bitcoin is about 34% and then Ethereum is about one quarter. Um, so Ethereum has been doing very well uh, the past few weeks too so um that's interesting to see bitcoin has been not stagnating i mean it's been moving around a lot but um it was up near seventy thousand, you know maybe a month or two ago and now it's just kind of sitting around that 50 to sixty thousand range and not really testing those new highs whereas bitcoin cash and ethereum they've been constantly testing their new highs over the past few weeks and just keep going up so that's pretty cool to see so overall, I would say I'm probably most excited about Bitcoin Cash. So that makes me really happy that um, it's now the largest position in my portfolio now that it's run up. I mean, just a few months ago, maybe a month or two ago, it was around five, six, seven hundred dollars a share, and now it's or a coin, sorry, and now it's over fourteen hundred dollars. So that's awesome uh, to see, and I'm really excited that that's the case. And one of the reasons I would say I mainly like it is just because uh, the transactions are a lot cheaper and faster um, than on Bitcoin and especially Ethereum. 
Uh, so uh, that's one of the things I like and it just seems super simple to use and uh, I hope that more people start uh, it starts becoming more popular which I guess it is sort of because of, of the price how it's done recently so uh, a lot of the stuff I would have to say I learned from crypto is probably from uh, my friend Ryan Giffen he also has a YouTube channel so I definitely recommend you guys checking out his channel because um, he has a ton of great info on crypto and he talks a lot about Bitcoin cash um, and he just has a ton of knowledge about cryptocurrencies and stocks and uh, businesses as well he runs a couple of businesses and I think he's pretty successful with that so I would highly recommend recommend you checking out his channel and thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next one